Hello everyone, I'm Shilpa Raj. I'm very happy to share my thoughts on leadership at the Talent Nomics India and CAS conference. Thank you for focusing on such a key issue and for inviting me to speak. I'm a trainee clinical psychologist and I'm currently pursuing a PhD in the US. Looking back at my own journey, I realize that it was strong leadership and opportunity that changed it. I was born to a family trapped in intergenerational poverty. Women like my mother, my grandmother and all those before them lived in submission to oppression and the clutch of patriarchy with very little say in family matters and few personal choices. Men like my father believed it was their destiny to be poor. But I was lucky to escape a life of hardship and enjoy a better outcome. At the age of four, I received a life transforming opportunity to study at Shanti Bhavan, a free residential school for children from amongst the most impoverished families in India. This was my ticket out of a world of hardship and into a world of endless possibilities and opportunities if I worked hard and made the most of what came my way. Today, by working hard both at school and in college, I'm now able to pursue a better life and access the benefits of social mobility. I've been able to break out of the oppression that the social underclass in India endure on a daily basis. I have reaped the benefits of the empowerment that opportunity brings and I feel grateful. Today, my past as a poverty child no longer dictates my future. I have a voice. I exercise the power of ideas and I'm open and I'm free to speak my mind. This cannot be taken away. And I realize that there's a fundamental change in my mindset. While my family believes they are helpless, I do not. And I, being the lucky one who got to enjoy a better life, I try to pass those benefits on to them through my deeds and my actions. And I try to serve as a support for them. I have also written a book called The Elephant Chaser's Daughter that documents my struggles that came along with living in two diverse worlds. Today, I feel that my background is one of my greatest strengths because it has offered me a level of empathy for those who are suffering and believe they do not have anyone to reach out to. It has also made me strong. I do not let anybody control my thoughts. Women need to be empowered at every level and they are catalysts for change, be it at a fam the family level or at the workplace or at the world at large. They drive home change. I've seen it through my own example and the lives of other girls who have been fortunate to know over these years. An education by which I mean a quality education must be given to them very early on. That will make it possible for them to have their mindsets changed. I also believe in value-based leadership. My teachers and caretakers at school modeled strong leadership for me. They were my role models. Well, sadly, I didn't have many role models back at home. And it was through my teachers at school that I began to believe and embrace humane values such as honesty, integrity, care, love, respect, reverence for all life, and most importantly, dignity. The dignity of the poor is attacked every day. The oppression that they suffer at the hands of those more powerful than them break away at any sense of dignity they can have. I've seen it in my parents. I've seen it in others, in my community. They believe that they are not equal, but I believe otherwise because my education taught me so. 
so i advocate very strongly for female education very early on and an education that embodies humane values right at the school level that will turn out leaders with a social conscience and the courage to persevere in the face of utmost hardship thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts